is this possible yes it is let's go ahead and find the value of x okay if square root of x plus square root of x minus 12 is equal to 12 welcome back to my channel let's get straight to the point first let's square both sides okay square both sides of the equation okay we want to square both sides why remember that square root of x all squared okay will give us x so in order to get the value of x we need to square so that is where we are squaring both sides okay because it will give us an opportunity to get the value of x okay all right so let's go ahead and do that so we'll have square root of x plus square root of x minus 12 all squared is equal to 12 squared now remember that a plus b all squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab okay so that means that we can write this as square root of x squared plus square root of x minus 12 squared plus sorry it's going to be plus everything is plus sorry because this is root x plus does that is a plus b squared yeah so plus um two minus our a is root x and our b is root x minus 12 okay now is equal to 12 squared which is 144. Now remember that square root of a all squared is equal to a. Okay? So that means this we give us x plus this we give us x minus 12 plus. Now I want you to also note that square root of a multiplied by square root of b is equal to square root of a multiplied by b okay so that is why we will write this as plus so for this is going to be two root x multiplied by this okay so x multiplied by x minus 12. now everything is equal to 144. please click the subscription button turn your notification bell if this is the first time you are coming across this wonderful channel okay give us a thumbs up if you actually enjoying this video and please don't just watch and pass that thumbs up your comments your shares is very important to me okay thank you very much all right now we continue this is where we are x plus x is 2x right so we have 2x minus 12 minus 12 plus 2 root now let's open this bracket x times x is x squared minus x times 12 is 12 x okay is equal to 144 now you have um 2x okay let's subtract 12 from both sides okay subtract 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 12 from both sides so if we do that we have 2x plus 2 root oh sorry we are meant to add 12 to both sides because this is minus right so we need to add 12 to remove it so add 12 to both sides i'm sorry about that all right now add 12 to both sides so if we do that it's going to be this plus 12 and this place plus plus 12 as well okay so you see that this will go and we are left with 2x plus 2 roots x squared minus 12x is equal to now 4 plus 2 is 6 4 plus 1 is 5 so we have 156 
okay you can see that this and this have two in common okay so we factorize so we bring out two two x divided by two is x plus now two root x squared minus 12 x will give us what when you divide when it's divided by two we are left with this square root of x squared minus 12 x is equal to 156 now at this point let us divide both sides by two so that we can remove two okay divide both sides by two so we have two brackets x plus square root of x squared minus 12 x okay is equal to 156 divided by 2 divided by 2 so 2 we divide this and we have x plus the square root of x squared minus 12 x okay is equal to this we divide this we have 7 remainder 1 divide 16 we have 8 so now we have x plus the square root of x squared minus 12x is equal to 78. Now, remember that we want to get the value of x. So, we are going to try everything possible to get that. Have you given us a thumbs up yet? If not, please do that. I would really appreciate that. And that is if you actually enjoyed this video. Okay? If you are not, then comment. Tell us what you are not doing well. That you would like us to improve on okay thank you all right so this is what we have x plus the square root of x squared minus 12x is equal to 78 now let us subtract x from both sides okay let me stand here so we would subtract x from both sides subtract x from both sides so if we do that it's going to be x minus x plus square root of x squared minus 12x okay is equal to 78 minus x now x minus x is zero so we are left with square root of x squared minus 12x is equal to 78 minus x all right now we need to take square of both sides again because we need this to leave so that we have direct access to our x okay so we do what we take square square both sides so if we do that we have the square root of x squared minus 12x okay squared is equal to 78 minus x squared all right now this we remove this remember so we are left with x squared minus 12x is equal to now remember that a minus b squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab 2 multiplied by 78 multiplied by x okay all right so we have x squared minus 12x is equal to 78 squared plus x squared minus 2 times 78 is 1 2 times 8 okay 156x all right now you can see that x squared minus x squared that one we go and we are left with minus 12x is equal to 78 squared minus 156x now we add this to this side if this comes here we have minus 12x plus 156x I'm sorry about the background noise. It just started raining, but I want to finish this video, okay? So plus 156x 
is equal to 78 squared. Okay? Now, 156x minus 12x will give us 144x is equal to 78 squared. Okay? So if we divide this by 144 and this by 144, if we remove this and we have x is equal to, now this is certain as 78 multiplied by 78, divide that by 144. So we have x is equal to, 78 is certain as 13 multiplied by 6, then multiply by this is 13 multiplied by 6. Divide that by 144 is that 6 multiplied by 4. Okay? All right. Now, let's be equal to, since we divide this, give us 6. Since we divide it, give us 4. So we have 13. Multiply by 13, divide that by 4. Okay? So x is equal to 169 by that by 4. Now let us verify. Okay? I'm sorry about the background noise. Let us verify. So let's check. The set of same of x plus square of x minus 4 is equal to 4. So we have square root of 169 divided by 4 plus square root 169 divided by 4 minus 4. It is equal to 4. Okay? So this is something as like square root of 169 divided by square root of 4. Okay? Plus Square root of the LCM is 4. So we draw 4. 4 divides 4 is 1. 1 times 1 is 9 block with 0. 9 or 1 divides 4 is 4. 4 times 4 is 8. Is this equal to 4? So square root of 1 is 9 is 13. So 13 divided by square root of this is 2 plus. The square root of 9 minus 8 will hit us 1. 6 minus 4 is 2. So we have 1 to 1 over 4. Is this equal to? So. Now we have 13 divided by 2 plus. This is square root of 1 to 1. Divided by square root of 1. Now, in this equal to 12. 13 over 2 plus square root of 1 to 1 is 11. Square root of 4 is 2. In this equal to 12. So, the change is in the denominator. So, this is over 2. And we are going to add this to be 13 plus 11. Is now, is this equal to 12? Now, 13 plus 11 is 34. Divided by 2, is this equal to 12? So, you can see that 12 is equal to 12. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.